Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you because it's another day's journey. You've allowed us to be a part of it. For that we say thank you. Thank you for this meeting tonight. Be glorified in us. Be glorified through us. Melt us afresh tonight. Thank you for all of these who have come to share in your word and share in your praise. Lord, we say thank you. You get the glory. You get the honor. You get the praise. In Jesus' name, thank you for our babies. Returning them back to the classroom. Thank you for the school system. Thank you for all of our teachers, administrators. Thank you for divine protection. I pray for my brothers and sisters all over the globe. Continue to keep us and cover us and carry us. Only you can. In Jesus' name. We thank you and we love you. Everybody said amen. Come on, one more time. Let's give God. How y'all feeling tonight? Oh, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Yes, sir. You do it. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 You, f you should feel better. Did y'all bring y'all Bibles tonight? Oh, yeah. I've been on vacation. Yes, um, Lord. That kind of got me out of the swing of things. All right, all right, all right. But I'm back. Oh, we glad you're 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 glad you are I almost wanted you to teach tonight. Just do Sunday school for us, but I guess we're going to go forward. Yeah, Sunday school would have been good. Do our thing. Yes, sir. Now tell me, have y'all been enjoying the Kingdom series? Oh, yeah. Yes, talk about that. And I think, I think. I don't, I don't even think we've gotten deep. Y'all don't think we've been deep. We've not even been deep. We've been on the surface of this 
kingdom business. Yes, Lord. So let's start here. Okay. Um, yes, Lord. What is the kingdom of God? My God. God yes. in charge. God in charge. I'm glad he is in charge. Mama said, I'm glad he in charge. Yes, Lord, I'm glad he is in charge. Glad he is in charge. Yes, Lord. Kingdom of God is God in charge. Yes. Again. Yes. I don't mean to sound repetitious. Yes. But the kingdom of God has nothing to do with a place to go. That's right. It has everything to do with God mm -hmm. being in charge. in charge. That's right. In charge. That's right. That's right. Abby. That's right. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Mama, you know. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Whether, you know, there's a lot of people that don't believe in God and don't believe in this and the other. But you can tell when God is not in charge. All right, all right, you can, Pastor. You can. You can. You can tell. You can tell. My God. You can tell when God is not in charge. It's going to show up in your world. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know. When God is not in charge, people got a lot of questions. That's right. Sure will. That's right. Where is God? Sure will. That's a question they would ask. I've been looking for him. Yeah. <laughs> Where is God and how can God allow all of this That's what they say. to be? I said a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. God is a choice. That's right. You can live your life mm -hmm. the way you want to live. That's right. That's right. The way you want. God says to governments, you can run your world like you want it. That's right. The way you want it. That's right. My Lord. The way you want it. But My Lord. My Lord. You can always tell. Yeah. Yes, Lord. When God done left the building. My God. You always can tell. You can tell. You can tell. You can always tell when yes. God is uh -huh. out of the equation. My God. My God. You can tell. I said a couple of weeks ago also, yes. the kingdom of God only has to come when a world is gone mad. That's what you said. Yep, so maybe I can maybe I can help tonight yes, by way of these Bible stories. Yes. Maybe I can help point at a few of our problems. All right. All right now. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. Um My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I also said, Mama, a couple of weeks ago. That when God comes, uh -huh. Come on. when God comes, yes, sir. Something has to go. That's right. That's right. Something has to go. Something has to go. Yes, sir. When God comes, mm -hmm. something has to go. to go. My, 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 my. Lord Jesus. I think the last time I was here, I was talking about. What needed to go? My Lord. Come on, Joshua. All right. Something what needs to go? My, 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 my. Uh, faulty religion. Yes. 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 You know, I, I think we've, I think we've demonized yes. 
the term religion. Okay. Until nobody wants it anymore. That's right. That's right. You hear people all over. I'm not religious. Mm -hmm. I'm not religious. My Lord. I hate religion. My Lord. That's because it's been demonized. My Lord. My Lord. That's because Jesus. of the religion they gave us. All right. So I, I want to watch how I use the word religion because religion is not bad. Milo. Religion is just a routine. Milo. Just a routine. Milo. That's all it is. Milo. Just a routine. Religion is a routine that connects you back to the divine. My connection back to the divine. My God, my God, my God. That's right. My God. My God. We, we, we've messed up the word religion. People hate it, but... I think we need to come to the rescue of religion okay. because religion is not bad. Matter, right. matter of fact, some of us need a good religion. That, all right. Like the old folks, I got a good, good old religion. Yeah, you see, when you say you got a good religion, that means yeah. you got a good routine. All right, a good routine. That's good. I like that. I like that. I mean, anybody that's into fitness, okay. if, if you're going to become fit, you got to have a routine. That's right. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Right. Yeah, you you want to lose something. That's right. You, you want to gain That's something. Right. That's right. You don't just do that. Uh -uh. You got to have some kind of regimen, some kind of routine. That's right. That's right, Pastor. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, Mama Howard, a routine is not bad. No, it's not. You just need one that works. Oh, all right. All right. One that works. My God. So, when I say religion has to go, I'm talking about the one that was given to us. Okay. Yes. yes. My Lord. The one that prey on people. Yes, yes, yes. Take advantage uh -huh. of them being vulnerable. Yes, yes. Can I keep talking? Yes, keep talking, keep talking. That's yes, because if we're gonna if we're gonna if we're going to initiate the kingdom of God, we're gonna need a routine. All right. You got to have a routine. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna need a prayer life, you're That's gonna need right. time to meditate. That's right. All of that stuff. Yeah. And you gotta do it religiously. All right, all right, all right, all right. Religiously. All right, Lord. Because all it does is connects you. The routine connects you back to God. That's right, back to God. Back to God. Can I keep on talking? Keep on talking, yes, sir. So when God comes, something has to go. That's right. That's right. That's right. The religion that don't work. That's right. Has to go. Yes. We had a chance to look at Matthew chapter 23. That's right. That's right. Where Jesus just, mm. just had his way on religious people. Uh -huh. That's right. One of those scriptures, mama, he says, y'all Y'all stop people from entering the kingdom of God. That's what he said. He says you block people from entering. That's right, the way you live it. The he says, you and right. you yourselves mm -hmm. won't enter That's right. either. That's right. So, you know, a lot of people can't afford for you to come in contact with God. That's right. That's true. Because coming in contact with God means you lose people. All right, all right, all right. You lose people, my God. You lose them. That thought they were born to govern your life. My God. My God, my God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you have to, you lose, when you come in contact with God, you lose people, you, you, you lose stuff that's that right. thought it was created to govern your life. My God, talk to us tonight. Talk to us tonight. Talk to us. Yes, you see, a good preacher, a good teacher, uh -huh. a good pastor uh -huh. won't cause people to look up to them. That's right. Now say that. A good pastor uh -huh. My Lord. will teach people to turn back to God. That's right. Back to God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Milo. Yeah. 
It's not about me. It's about getting you back to God. To God. That's right. Back to God. Jesus calls that a, a good shepherd. All right. Now that's right. When you can turn them back to God. Yeah. Right. One that won't take advantage of your condition. That's right. But uh, carry you back to God. All right. That's what he's looking for. Yes, sir. That will teach you back to yes. God. Yes. I'm almost through with this. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. When God comes, something has to go. All right. All right. Hey, Mama, you know I was thinking. Okay. Yes, sir. About mm -hmm. the fact that My Lord. Jesus' core message. My God. Let's go back to this. All right. What was Jesus' core message? My Lord. My Lord. Jesus' core message, the center of his preaching. All right. All right. Think about this. My Lord. Because if we're going to change a world, mama, uh -huh. we just can't be busy preaching about Jesus. My Lord. Come on now with me. Come on with me. If we're going to change a world, yeah. we got to get busy preaching like Jesus. Like Jesus. That's right. That's right. So what was his core message? My, 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 my. Jesus' core message. message. Uh -huh. Lord, Watch this. You got to get this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus' core message was mm -hmm. the kingdom of God, God is, at hand. is at hand. That's what he said. That's what he said. Is at hand. My Lord. Now, what a message. My God. That's right. No, 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 no. Listen. What a message, darling. My Lord. Because My God. you don't hear messages, Mama Wells, like, God is here. That's right. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you're going to see God. The messages we hear That's right. is God is coming. So everywhere you go in church, right. it's God on his way back. Oh, come on, help me, y'all. Everywhere you go, Everybody talking about God is on his way. That's right. my, 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 my. Haven't you heard that lately? Every time you turn around, somebody's saying God is on his way back. Since I was a little boy, my mom 43. Since I was a little boy, I've been hearing the sermon, God is on his way back. But when I got a chance to read my own Bible and read it on my own time, never once, Mama Howard, did Jesus preach God is on his way back. Jesus' core sermon was, God is here. Come on, call the preacher and call the Sunday school teacher so he can take a look at this. Because I think we behind time. We're talking about God is on his way back. Well, when Jesus was preaching, he didn't say God was coming. He said God is here. What a sermon. What a sermon. <laughs> All right now. All right. God is here, y'all. But we don't accept Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Because a long time, man, they had me. They had me looking out of the window. All right. All right. They told me no man know the day. Nor the hour when he shall come. They had me looking for a God that was already here. Well, somebody just put it in the thread. If you heard what I said, God is not on his way. God is here. That ain't my sermon. That's Jesus' sermon. In 
Jesus did not preach that to a world that was well put together. Jesus was preaching that to a world that was on the verge of being destroyed. Darkness had filled the earth. <laughs> Are y'all listening? But when he came preaching, he didn't say God is on his way. Get your house in order. He says repent because God is here. So preacher, yes, Lord. Thank you. I think you got to tweak your sermon, man. My God, my God, my God. Because if you're going to preach like Jesus, yes. you can't be telling people God is on his way. No, no, that's right. I'm going home to see Jesus. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'm preaching better than y'all right. acting tonight. Right. Preacher, you got to tweak your sermon because... If you're going to preach like Jesus, you can't be telling God's people that God is on his way. If you're going to preach like Jesus, you got to tell the people, get yourself together because God is here. Already, already, already. My God. My God, my God. Yeah, do it like God did. Yes. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Come on. Somebody, somebody don't get it. Get Mark 115. Uh, Michael, refund me. Come on. No, he don't. Every day, every night. Uh-huh, every day. Mark, can you can you slide Mark one fifteen? I think that am I right my on God. my scriptural recall? My God. That's it. One fifteen. Man, are y'all here today? Yes, sir. One fifteen. Yeah, next time somebody tell you God on his way back, you, you all tell him update. <laughs> refresh. All right, update, refresh. <laughs> update, refresh. Yes, Lord. That's it God. says, my God. Matter of fact, give verse 14 so we can see that. Oh, I got it. I got it, Pastor. Later on after John. Mm-hmm. That's right, Miss Wilson. That's right. Y'all put it in the three. God is here. He ain't on his way. No. I know he ain't. Next time somebody tell you God is on his way, you ought to tell them, not my God. Not the God I serve. Hey! Not the one I serve. He, the God I serve ain't on his way. No, Lord. Not him. My He's here. Yes, sir. Mark 1, 14. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Let's get it real quick. God is good, y'all. Hurry up. Hurry up. You're eating away at my time. It says, now after that John was put in prison. That's what he said. So now Mark is gonna tell you where Jesus got his sermon from. Uh-huh. Jesus didn't make up this sermon about the gospel of the kingdom. No, he did. Yes, Lord. He got this message from a preacher that was already preaching it. All right. That was John. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. But when you exposing people to God, uh-huh. people don't let you hang around long. All right. All right, Pastor. All right. All right. My God. They won't let you hang around. Yes, sir. So John... The good preacher. Yes, sir. Is put in prison. Uh huh. Because he's reconnecting people back to God. All right. That's right now. That's right. Connect them back. He's calling out evil. Yes, sir. That's right. Are y'all listening? Yes, sir. And when John was put in prison, Jesus came uh-huh. into Galilee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My preaching. The gospel, watch this, you ought to pause there a minute. My God, my God, my God. Because if Jesus came to Galilee, you got to come here deep, come here, Rev. Come here, Mr. Scholar. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Come here, Sunday school teachers. All right. 
Yes, Lord. If Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel, now you got to ask yourself, what is this gospel? Because every Sunday morning we, 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 we act like we preaching the gospel. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Lord. We call the gospel the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But Jesus didn't come into Galilee preaching the death, burial, and resurrection of his own life. So now somebody put it in the thread. Somebody raise the question and maybe somebody will answer us. What is this gospel? Yes, sir. What is this? Yes, sir. My God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, I tell you. Yes, repent. Lord. Mark said it is the gospel yes, Lord. of the kingdom, the kingdom of, God. of God. Yes, sir. Lord. What is the kingdom of God? My, my. God. In charge. God is in charge. God That's right. He's in charge. on the throne. God yes, in control. That's right. So when Jesus came preaching, he didn't come preaching, I'm going to die one Friday and get up uh -uh. No. on a Sunday morning. Now we can talk about that later. I didn't come to talk about that. I just come to raise. Yes, your you level of thinking. That's right. Your level of I come to raise yes, Lord. us to be aware yes, right. that the gospel we're preaching All right. can't be the gospel Jesus came preaching. No, he didn't. He didn't. No, he didn't. My God. Because he never came preaching about uh -uh. himself. No, he did mm -hmm. He was preaching the yes. gospel yes, Lord. of the kingdom of, of God. God. He was teaching people yes. that God was not on his way. He was teaching people that God is here and he is available. <laughs> Come on, tell somebody beside you, God is available. He's closer than you will ever imagine. God is available. He's not on his way back. He's available. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he's ready yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. to work it out for you. I'm preaching tonight. He came preaching yes. the gospel uh -huh. yes, Lord. of the kingdom of God. Yes. Now, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. When God comes in, all right, now preach now, my Lord. Something has to go. That's right. Yes. And as bad as we hate to see it, yes, sir, it got to go, This world, yes, sir. has to go. <laughs> That's right. Yes, sir, it got to go. We hate each other. Oh, that got to go. That got to go. This world got to go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mother against daughter. All right, all right. That's what he said. Father against son. That's what he said. That's right. That's right. Wars and rumors of war. Yes, sir. My God, my God. It got to go, y'all. Yes, Lord. My this God. world. Yes, Lord. My God. Thank has you. to go. It has to go. It has to go. My God. Don't you lock God into your fancy church building either. That's all right, all right. All right. Cause when God comes, that's got to go too. That's right. You're not coming at no building. You're not coming at no building. That's that's where we getting that's where we getting indoctrinated at. That's right. That's where we get messed up at. That's right. That's, that's, that's where we go let them destroy our mind. Yes, it's in them beautiful places. Yes, yes. You ain't coming in no beautiful place. No, I'm not talking this year. I'm talking to you. That's right. Let's get Matthew chapter 24. Come on. Matthew 24. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, Mama, Jesus' core message was yes, Lord. God is here. Yes, sir. He is here, y'all.
So if you ask Jesus what the gospel is, I'm sure he won't say Calvary. No, he won't. No, he won't. No, Lord. Now, I know I'm throwing a monkey wrench in a lot of y'all stuff. But see, hey, look, look, man. Look, man. Study to show yourself approved. Is, I'm sure he won't say Calvary. No, he won't say that. No, Lord. No, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, we're going to talk about that in a minute and see okay. later. <laughs> my God, my God. Yes, Lord. Okay. Pay attention what you read. That's what he said. Matthew 24. Uh huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Y'all going to hang out with me? I'm almost through. Yes, sir. We're here. We're here. We're here. Yes, Lord. Matthew chapter 24. Uh huh. Lord Jesus. It says, mm. and Jesus mm -hmm. went out. Yes, sir. My God. And departed from that beautiful place. Yes, sir. That temple. Uh huh. The temple was beautiful. That's what he said. That's what he said. Jesus went to that temple, but. He saw how many people were lost and yes, broken God. and confused. My and God. he saw the liars that was running it. He saw the liars that were in charge of the temple. My God. My God. Taking advantage uh -huh. of the lost. Yes. Yes, Lord. Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Uh -huh. And it was his disciples oh, that's right. came to him uh -huh. yes, Lord. for to show him uh -huh. the buildings of the temple. So now what this is saying to us uh -huh. is that yes, when Lord. the disciples went to church, mama. Okay, okay, okay. Listen to this. Come, y'all. Come, okay, come. Okay, okay. Jesus and the disciples went to church this day. Okay, okay. Lord, help the day. Help the night. But apparently the disciples did not see what Jesus all saw. All right, all right. Didn't see what Jesus saw. My God. The disciples saw how beautiful the building was. Yes. Don't, don't, don't take it. Mm -mm. My Lord. How fancy the building was. Are y'all right? oh, listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They wanted to show Jesus how beautiful this place My was and how they had built it. Yes, sir. My God. Verse number two. Come on. My God. My God. Come on. Jesus, how beautiful. And Jesus said unto them. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all looking at how beautiful the building is. On the outside. On the outside. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He says, but it's corrupt. That's what he said. Corrupt. He My says, God. see ye not all these things. Uh -huh. He says, truly I say unto you. My God. In a little while. In a little while. A little while. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. This beautiful building. Y'all right now. He says, there shall not be left here one stone upon another. That's what he said. One stone. My God. My God. It's beautiful. Yes. But Jesus says it's coming down. All right. That's what he said. That's what he said. Coming down. Man, I'm, I'm trying to preach to you, but you're backing up. No. Jesus says it's beautiful. But it's coming down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Coming down. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come Why is it coming down, Jesus? My Liars God. are running it. My Lord. Are y'all listening? Oh, yes, sir. He says it's beautiful, but it's coming down. My God, my God. It's fancy, but it's coming down. Because when God comes, some got to go. All right, all right, all right. My Lord, my God, my God. Verse number three, come on. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Coming down. And as he said it yes, Lord. upon the Mount of Olives, yes. the disciples came unto him uh -huh. 
privately. Yes. Saying, tell us. When you really are. Tell us. Yes, Lord. That's what he said. That's what if he all said. of this is coming to an end. All right, preach Rogers, preach Rogers. <laughs> preach on it, preach. My Lord. You see, they didn't see what Jesus saw when they went to church. All right, all right, all right. They didn't see it. Yes. They was looking at how fancy the building was. Yes. But Jesus was looking at how corrupt it was. It was. Oh, that's right, how corrupt it was. And you show tell the truth. Jesus told them it's coming to an end. That's what he said. Not one stone be left. Not one so they came to Jesus privately. Say, they said, Jesus, can you tell us when these things That's what he said. are going to be? That's what he said. My God. Coming down. And what shall be uh -huh. the sign? That's what he said. My God. See, because when God comes, something got to go. Yes, sir. <laughs> The thing that destroys people the most has to go. But Peter and them wanted to know when is all this coming to an end. See, see, a lot of us, mama, so tied up into buildings until we feel like we, we're not close to God until we get in a certain place. We can't feel God until we get in a certain location. My God. My but Jesus God. says if you got God locked into a location, yes. you're going to be lost in a minute. All right, all right, all right. Yes, he told the woman at the well in John chapter 4, yes. he says you can't lock God or handcuff God to a location. Yes, right, yes, right. He says the time has come. And the time is coming and the, and the time now is that's right, that's right. that the true worshipers the true worshipers don't need a location to that's worship right, that's right. because the true worshipers know right. that they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth And truth. Yes, Lord. Now watch this. Spirit is something that the church loves. Yeah. Yeah, but worship it. We claim to have a lot of spirit. But we hate truth. I mean, can't nobody beat us, Hashabalan, huh? Can't nobody beat us speaking in tongues and shouting and moving around the room. But when somebody tells us the truth, we're offended. That's right. That's right. When somebody goes against our what philosophy, That's right. That's the truth. our raggedy understanding. Lord, my God. Man, we hate truth. Matter of fact, we hate truth so much until you got people who know the truth and tell you to be quiet. Don't say nothing. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to offend nobody. You don't want to turn nobody away. Well, if the truth runs you away, you shouldn't be here. No way. Only the devil hates truth. Only a liar hates the truth. Somebody holler, true worship. You see, everybody that's worshiping is not a true worshiper. That's right. Mama Wells, in Ch John chapter 4, he calls those who worship in spirit and truth, he calls them true worshipers. That's right. True worship. True worship. True worship. True worship. People who don't need a building. You see, you don't need a building to worship God in spirit and in truth. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I don't 
don't need a Hammond B3 to worship God in spirit and in truth. I don't need a praise team and a choir and a three-piece band to worship God in spirit and in truth. And he calls those people yes. true worship. True worship. True worship. Now, the question is, what kind of worshiper are you? My God. All right, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. A good question. Yes, Lord. You got to lay some of this stuff down. Spirit. Yes. And in truth. And truth. And truth. Tell the truth when they don't. Some lie. of y'all. Yes, Lord. Ought to take the brakes off your pastor. You ought to tell the preacher coming through the door on Sunday morning. I didn't come for no folly. All right, all right. Give me the truth. All right, all right. Didn't come for no guessing. Give me. Yes, didn't come to hear what you had. Give me the truth. My house is in trouble. Yes, sir. Now that's the truth. My world is in trouble. Give me the truth. It may hurt, but give me the truth. I may be on the wrong side of it, but give me the truth. That's right, Pastor. That's right. You preaching on it. You preaching. Here come. Yes, Lord. You preach. I didn't mean to get stuck there. Here come. Oh, this good. This good. They said, tell us when this gonna be. That's what they said. That's what they said. What's the sign of your coming? That's what it says him. That's what it says. My and of the end of the world. That's what it said. My Lord. See, because when God's kingdom comes, uh-huh. a world has to end. It has to end. That's right. Now, Mama, when we think of the end of the world, we think one day to the globe gonna stop. No. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's you gonna stop. You Time gonna stop. That's right. Uh uh-uh. uh. No, the ending of a world is the ending of an age. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. The end of the world is the ending of a period of time. Yes. My Lord. This is good, Pastor. The end of the world simply means the changing of God. And if God's kingdom is going to come, a world has to come to an end. To an end. I go. And let them mind for my, my, my. This is good, Pastor. I'm almost through with this. This is good. This is good. But, but the disciples wanted to know, that, when this gonna happen. do you think mm-hmm. yes, sir. this world or this age uh-huh. yes, sir. is going to end? Read verse number four. Come on. I hope you still got your Bible. Oh, yeah. My Lord. Hallelujah. And Jesus answered, yes, said sir. unto them, uh-huh. Here comes. Uh-huh. Yeah. He says, when a world is ending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He says, when a world is ending, make sure you don't go down with it. Notice his first piece of advice was when they asked him, when is the world mm-hmm. going in? Oh my God. The first piece of advice was, take heed uh-huh. that no man fools you. Yes, oh. <laughs> ah! Jesus says, make sure that no man fools you. Mama, what you always say? Don't let nobody mislead you. He says, make sure you don't go down with it. Make sure nobody misleads you. That's why when a world is coming to an end, you had better know God for yourself. You had better have a personal relationship with God. Though you're going down with the world, 
that's coming to an end. So Jesus says you don't have to you don't have to end with the world as ending. All right. All right. My God. Ooh, this good pastor. This good. Make sure no man deceive you. Verse number four, five. Come on. I'm through y'all. God bless you. Y'all been wonderful. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good, Pastor. He says, For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. Yes, yes. And shall deceive many. Many people. Many people. Yes, Lord. Everybody going to want to be your leader. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. My God. Everybody. And anybody that's wanting to be your leader, they ain't doing nothing but fighting for your head. My Are you listening? Fight for you. That's right. Anybody that's that's fighting to be your leader, they just fighting over your head. My God. Pastor, this is good. This is good. Fighting over your head. Yes, Lord. Fighting over your head. Ooh wee. Yeah, because the preacher already know. If I got you, then your head come with you. That's right. Good God of God. Yeah, that's where you get it at in the head. <laughs> Verse number six, I'm going. I done made somebody mad. I'm no, sorry. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you baby. He says, when well, the world is in this. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. Yes, On the news, you see wars. Yes. yes. Not only do you see wars, but there's rumors yes, about who's going to be in war later on. What he, what's what he said, mama? He says, when the world coming to an end, he says, but don't be troubled. Don't be troubled. Hey, hey, if you have the truth, you won't be troubled. When you watch the news about who's fighting, the rumors about who's going to fight, he says, don't you be troubled. All right, all right. All right, all right. All right. He says, for all these things must come to pass. <laughs> he says, but just know, when these things come up, he says the end is not yet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse number seven, come on. My God, my God. Nation. Yes, sir. For nation shall rise up against nation. That's what he said. Kingdom, kingdom against kingdom. Yes. yes. There shall be famines. Yes. Pestilence. Yes. Earthquakes and all. Divers places. That's what he said. But all this. My Verse number eight. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus, yes, Lord. All these are the. It's not the end of the world. It's just the beginning of sorrow. Because Jesus says there's a process. Yes, yes, yes. To the ending of a world. God don't have to bring a world to an end. My God, my God. The people that are in the world will cause the world to end. Verse number nine, come on. Yes, Lord. The way we live. Then shall they deliver you up yes. to be afflicted yes. and shall kill you and, and hate all. you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Jesus was a man of truth. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. So don't be troubled about that. Yeah, right. He was a man of truth. The man was killed not because he died for your sins. He was killed because somebody... <laughs> Heard his message about a kingdom that had come. Judas went back and told the Sanhedrin council that Jesus was talking about he was a king. My God, my God. That's why Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus didn't say, Yeah, it's me. He said, You say. 
Then he told him, he says, yeah, I've been preaching about a kingdom, but the kingdom I'm talking about is not of this world. <laughs> Are y'all listening? Yes, Jesus wasn't killed because he was preaching love. No, he was. Uh-uh. I don't think the Roman government would have killed a man who was going around preaching love your enemy. My God. My God. <laughs> For if they were the enemy, if Jesus was telling his people to love their enemy, uh, why would you kill him? That's right. Seemed like you would keep him alive. All right. So he wasn't no, he wasn't known for preaching love. Yeah. He was known for preaching the gospel of God. That's right. That's right. That's right. God in charge. My God. I'm also here. Here comes. My God. Verse number ten. And then shall many be offended. This is when the world is coming to an end. Offenses are going to be everywhere. They're going to be betraying one another. Love is going to be nowhere. They're going to hate one another. All Jesus is trying to show you, Mr. Dennis, is how a world comes to an end. Levin, come on. I hope y'all are enjoying this. I'm done. He says, this is when a world is finished. He said, many... False prophets shall rise. You ain't never seen this many prophets. You ain't never seen this many people claiming to be prophets. He says many false. I didn't say it, man. Jesus is trying to show you that when a world is finished, what you're going to see. He didn't say a few false prophets are going to rise. He says a whole lot of them. You see, folks want to be prophets today because they know how thirsty you are. Everybody looking for a word. That's why you got prophets coming up everywhere because everybody know how thirsty you are. For a word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He says they're going to rise up, and he says they're going to get through, too. That's what he said. Going to fool a man up. He said they're going to deceive. He didn't say they're going to get a few. He says they're going to deceive a whole lot of people. What are we looking at? We're looking at the ending of a world. Yes, the ending of the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank we look at the end of the world. Yes, Lord. We look at the end of the world. My Lord. When we see the weather change, well, the Bible said the weather, you ain't going to be able to tell winter from summer. Uh-huh. But see, the ending of the world, uh-huh. the ending of a world, mama, the description, one of the descript, uh, descriptions is, False prophets. That's okay. So when you see all these false prophets uh-huh. coming up everywhere, somebody ought to be saying the world is coming to an end. My God, my God. I didn't say that. My God, my God. Jesus says when a world is ending, many false prophets yes. will rise up. Yes, Lord. Arise. That's they will deceive many. Verse number 12. Let me get off that. And because iniquity shall abound. 
The love of many shall wax cold. Somebody holler, where's the love? When love is hard to find, Jesus says your world is finished. Verse number 13, I'm going. <laughs> but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Verse number 14. Come on. Come on. Give it to me, Mom. Here it comes, and I'm through. God bless you. You have been a wonderful crowd. All over the world. He says, and this gospel. Somebody just put it in the three. This gospel. This gospel. This gospel. Christian people thought they had to go across the world preaching. Calvary. My God. No. But Jesus didn't say that the world was going to end when you preached Calvary. Uh -uh. No. My Lord. Says the world was going to end when the gospel of God is preached. God in charge. Yeah, he is in charge. Oh. <laughs> He says, when this message of the gospel of God is preached to all nations, he says, then the benediction. Yes, Lord. The benediction. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You preach tonight. You preach tonight, Pastor. You preach tonight. You preach tonight. You preach tonight. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, we want God to come, don't we? We want him to come, don't we? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We want him to come. Yes, Lord. Well, if you want God to come, you got to be able to stand to see some stuff go. That's right. Now, that's right. And the stuff that's got to go, you in love with. The stuff, the stuff that got to go, you attached to. The stuff that got to go, you addicted to it. But if God's going to come, you got to be able to stand to see it go. They used to sing a song when I was a little boy. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> what a job. What a job. <laughs> I'm going to close this out. Sermon tonight. Let's give him another hand. Hallelujah. We got to let the world know when we hear the true gospel. <laughs> and he said in my Bible, don't let nobody mislead, mislead you. Because yes. all kind of preachers is coming up. <laughs> and we ain't trying to condemn nobody. That's right, Ma. I ain't in nobody business. Mm -mm. But if it's not the right gospel, you can't go with false gospel. That's right. That's you right. got to go with the real thing. That's right. You can't be on two roads. Come on, Ma. Come on. And I've been saying this a long time. You can't hate and then say you love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll say it again. Come on, say you it. You cannot hate and then, and say, you then love. say you love. Because one of them you going to show. That's right. That's right. One of them you going to show. <laughs> you can say both of them, but one of them you going to show. show. That's good sense, Mom. Come on. And I tell everybody, <laughs> I'm not perfect, but there's a lot of things I let go. Yeah. 
You can't be doing in and everything and then getting up here talking about Jesus is this and Jesus is that. You can't even feel what you're talking about. <laughs> That's right. But That's right. tonight, all over the world, we need to let some of this stuff go. Yes. Two faced it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Telling you about Darlene. That's right. Right. And smiling in her face. And smiling. <laughs> you got to let that go, too. That's right. That's right. Going to these dance parties. Uh-oh. Hello, lights. Oh, I know they ain't going to like me. And got your whiskey standing in the front. What kind, ma? Your beer and your whiskey. <laughs> Something got to go, y'all. Yes. Then you want to come back and talk about hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, I see all that I just look. <laughs> I said, what kind of God they serve? Even they got the little kids just, ooh, I got a grandbaby. Oh, I was looking at her. She said, oh, she was just wrote. I said, Lord. Wow. Who learned that baby like that? Mama said, who learned that baby Ooh, like that? I mean, she was going out this look. I said, where she get this at? Yeah. But old people live a life. Yeah. See, you can talk about God all you want, but people just watching your life. That's right. That's right. It's going to go cold. That's right. Lay all this if you got a wife. I'm spirit saying somebody know you that's what you go spit it out your mouth. <laughs> Stop going getting girlfriend. Lord Jesus. Y'all, this this a narrow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. If you got a wife, be truthful to her. He said, love your wife as you love the church. Mm -hmm. It's a shame you the deacon. You the preacher, you the prophet, and doing all this man. <laughs> but we got to leave some of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. If y'all want to know, we are the, we, God gave us power over this world. That's right. God gave us a key to unlock the door. That's right. That's right. Do y'all know that? That's right. That's good, Ma. That's good. You can't lock the door and you straddle the fence. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. On your phone and play like you talking to a boss and talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> it's it's a shame, y'all. <laughs> and that's why people are going astray today. Mm -hmm. We live in one thing today and tomorrow we shout it. Yeah. But some of this stuff, you may not can lay it down all at once. But you got to help God. Say you got to overcome it. You got Jesus to. says, I've overcome the world. Uh, didn't he say? Yes, and it's a process to overcome that's right, the and world. And that's by listening at the true gospel. That's right. That's right. Because don't let people, when you, you, I'm telling you, people don't mess you up. Yes. And we love to go to the can, casino. <laughs> we scratch more you can't wait till God bless you. And hey, mama, I was gonna buy I was gonna buy two at the gas station. I was I was down there in Florida, I was gonna buy two of them. I would have my nickel ready, but I I left them in the case. My God. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, and it's good money is fine. money is good, y'all. Money is good, money is good. But can you wait on God? <laughs> yes. And that's all I got to say. That's true, Ma. Take these things on consideration. That's true. And Leah right, I don't care if you black, white, yellow. Get on the right road. That's right. And stay on the right road. That's right. And we won't have too many race. God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Mama said get on the right road and you won't have too many race. You won't. Mama, thank you so much. Yes, Lord. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed yourself tonight. Yes, Lord. Thank Did y'all get some out of y'all get some out of tonight?
This was good. This was good. Yes, please be patient with me. All right. That's what y'all tell That's everybody right. that know you. Please That's be patient right. with me. That's right. God is not through. With us yet. That's right. That's right. You know, I love Isaiah. Yeah, Pastor, you preached tonight. You preached tonight. When Isaiah was called to preach. Yes, sir. Yeah. He was a prophet. Yes, he was. And you know, a prophet is known for seeing. That's right. That's, that's right. He's, I'm a man of unclean lips. Uh, that's what he said. He had to confess himself. Yes. But he said, the yell king of his out there. I dwell among the people. Yes, sir. My God. The world, the world is something we have to overcome. We got to admit that we were raised yes. in this world. That's right. That's right. We have adopted the habits. That's right. That's right. We've fallen in love with the desire. Yes. Yes, Lord. But when God comes. All right now. When God comes. You got to change your mind. All right. You got to change your path. You got to change that mind. You got to change that mind. Get you a good regimen. Yes, Lord. Have some respect. One that will cause you to grow stronger. Yes, and stronger and stronger. Strong in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Anybody got any questions before I go? My God. Nobody have any questions? My God, baby, you were you were good. Nobody man. have any questions? Good word. Good word. So if you don't have any questions, that means I've been clear. All right, all right, yes, you were. You was clear. You was clear, you was clear. Prince of Peace, again, I miss y'all so much. We miss you, I don't, I don't know if y'all know how much I miss y'all. That's all right, just, just have your way. I was supposed to come home uh, this morning, but I was just missing y'all so I wanted to. Yes. I told them, get me out of there. <laughs> I came home right out of church. My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you all for. Yes. Yeah, thank you all for. Yeah, who I here? I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you. Um. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank Ma, you. you pray us out tonight. Yes, sir. Most grateful and everlasting God, we thank you for the message. Yes. Thank we thank you that we have ears to hear them. Eyes to see. God, I'm asking you to bless those that lost everything they had. Look like trouble everywhere. But God, you're trying to keep us in remember that you is one of you is our God. You is our king. You is our everlasting God. And I ask you to bless the world tonight. Bless them that don't evil, God. Let them put away at God. Two-faced it. It's evil. Don't have a mind to change. Hallelujah. But I ask you tonight to change and change out the enemy. Don't let us hate no enemy. But let us change them. We once was enemy to ourselves. But you made us new God. And you can make them new. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we love you, God. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. I want you to prepare your hearts to be a blessing tonight. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I want you to prepare your hearts to be a blessing tonight. Yes, Lord. I'm going to leave uh, this with Prince of Peace tonight. I've been MIA. I've been gone for a few weeks. I want you to be a real blessing for me tonight. Be a real blessing for me tonight. Those of you that are giving, I want you to prepare your hearts to give. Hazel, make sure you give tonight. Hazel Mays. <laughs> Hazel Mays, make sure you give in tonight. Make sure you're found giving tonight. I want all of you that can be a blessing to the ministry, be a blessing to Prince of Peace, SAG. I want you to get those phones out, those tablets out. Uh, make sure you can mail it in. Um, just get some kind of way to be a blessing tonight. Thank you so much. Marguerite, show them some other ways to give to everybody hold to his hand. God bless you. Stand to your feet. We're going tonight. Everybody hold.
God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are dismissed. Make sure you hug somebody. Tell them God bless you. Until next time. See you next week. Same place, same time. Y'all make sure you pray for me. Keep me lifted. Keep my children lifted. Thank you so much for the love and thank you for the support. Thank you for all of thank thank God for all of you who are coming on after this comes on. We pray that you and Enjoy the program, enjoy the broadcast, make sure. If this is a blessing to you, if this was provocative, make you think out on a, of the box, make sure that you put a seed on that. Be a blessing. Help us to keep coming. God bless you. Thank you so much. We love you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs>